debut fight here at Max. And he trains and fights out of Sun Home Gym. His opponent in the red corner. Fa Satan Pak Kun Jim. He's originally from Roy Et, 17 years old. Stands at 165 centimeters. Has 34 fights, 24 wins, one draw, and nine losses. This is also his debut fight here at Max, and he trains and fights out of Pakun Jim. So all of our fights tonight uh, consist of three three-minute rounds. With the exception of our main event, which I believe is for a champion challenge title. If that fight goes to a draw, then we go to a fourth and final deciding round. One thing that's always interesting is uh, these, these ties that are making their, their debut, uh, especially when they're coming from a stadium sort of setup where they're used to the five rounds and they normally like to take the first two, you know, to kind of feel out. We're here in this max format, you know. Every, every second is, is crucial, so it's always interesting to see how these uh, these debut fighters adjust to this fast-paced style of Max. Yeah, they, they do get the the uh, heads up in the fighters meeting, but sometimes you see they still come in, they, they're a little bit slow in the first round, and then they usually kick it up in the second round. Sometimes if they're a bit too slow to kick it up, they get a little uh, push from their corners. And the referee, referees are exceptional here. They, they, they let them know, step the action up if there's a little lull in action. Yeah, referees in Thailand, some of the best in the world. So both fighters in the orthodox stance. Quick start from Fa Satan. Yeah, Fossil Town seems to be the more aggressive at this uh, early junction. Also the taller fighter. Yeah, see if he can use that height advantage there for him in the clinch. Definitely see he favors the, he likes to favor the kick. Keeping Super J on the back foot. Struggling with the aggression so far, Fasatan. Fasatan doing a good job of just dinging the sides there with the knees. Trying to rack up those points in the clinch. Good elbow from Fasatan. See him just stuck that elbow right through the guard. It's, looks like Super J is not going to make the count. That up elbow just splits the guard. Beautiful technique. Especially uh, effective on a very aggressive opponent. Hard to see. See it from this angle. Let's check it one more time on replay. You see Fasatan closing the distance. They both went for the up elbow. Last time was a little quicker. See, almost, Super J almost walking into it. Fasatan just turning his head out of the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner by way of technical knockout, Red Connor! Fast and hard, Bakun All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after the shot break. This is Muay Thai Fight Time! Rai Pacha, 15 Jim. He's 19 years old, stands at 163 centimeters. Has 25 fights, 18 wins, and 7 losses. This is his debut fight. 
here at Max. And he trains and fights out of Rap Pacha 15 gym. His opponent in the red corner, Wacharasak Sitjenok, originally from Udon Thani. He's 21 years old, stands at 159 centimeters, has 23 fights, 17 wins, one draw, and five losses. He's making his debut tonight here at Max. And he trains and fights out of Sit J No. So don't forget, if you enjoyed tonight's fight, you can check out all the fights here at Max Live from uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. We have the Muay Thai Fighter Show. Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have the Global Fight Champion Challenge. On Fridays, we have the Battle Muay Thai Show. On Saturdays, the Champion Muay Thai. And on Sundays, Max Muay Thai Ultimate Show. Catch it seven days a week, live on our Facebook page. Max Muay Thai. Don't forget to like and share. Help us spread the sport of Muay Thai. Wait for Jing Joe Lek to finish up the Y crew. Begin our second fight of the evening. Fighters just about even in experience. across the shoulder there. Watch out of sock. Smart technique to avoid the elbows. When the fighters are that close in the clinch. Good body work from the chair set. Again, watch out of sock. Trying to soften up there. The sides of Good low kick from a tier sack. See him time that low kick perfectly. This is Jingo like raise that leg up for the kick. Some nice counter work coming in from Wachata Sock. Try to engage in the clinch. So right now, both fighters seem to be even uh, with their with their clinch work. Both seem to maintain good good hand position, good balance. Good teeth from Jim Joe Lucky. You see both fighters just using that point of the knee to stab those knees in. Doesn't look like much from when you're watching, but when you're taking those knees from within the clinch, you're definitely going to wear away. It's like a video game. Every time you take one, the power bar goes down <laughs> just a little more. The only thing is different. There's no way to recoup the power if you lose it. Absolutely not. <laughs> like a, an art of its own within, within the game of Muay Thai. Thai fighters 
fighter spends so much time studying and practicing the clinch work. If I had to equate it to anything, I would see a lot of similarities to, to Greco-Roman and, and uh, Judo in terms of the foot sweeps. But even with that being said, it's an art within itself. There's a misconception in the West that just getting that lock around the head there is a, a Muay Thai clean show in itself, but it's so he's just about even so far. I can't really say that either fighter has done much damage to the other just yet. Definitely a hard round to score. Very close. Still have two rounds left. Kind of got to wonder now, is one fighter going to step it up to that next gear and try and pull away? Looking more determined this round. But Jurisak, he I think he's found something with the body. He seems to be going for that left hook. Beautiful sweep by him. But he seems to be trying to go off, start with that lead left to the body. Even throwing a straight right there. Trying to soften up the body there, King Joe Leck. A lot of times that body work could start bringing the right hand down, but your opponent look to come up top. Technique there. This is King Joe Black was walking in for that knee. But Cherishek is doing a beautiful job of countering uh, Jim Jolette's right kick. He's catching it, throwing the right hand. There he goes again with that body shot. One thing you got to be careful of is you don't want to go to the well too many times with a certain technique. Gives your opponent time to read you. Give yourself open for a High kick or possibly elbow. Trying to sign now, trying to chop through that guard with the elbow. There he goes again with that counter off of that right kick. The body work, beautiful sweep. T kind of timing right as he's coming for the knee. Jingo left was coming for the knee, but you're set to swap him. Starting to land those elbows too. Jingo like, has to be careful. Still pushing forward though. Again, the chair off with that beautiful foot sweep. That's a technique you don't see too much in the West. It's uh, something that ties a uh, massive, beautiful technique to off balance your opponent. Yeah, you see, there's not a lot of a lot of power or force behind it. Very technical, done with finesse. Just kind of using their their opponent's weight against them. Done correctly, it's very confusing for the opponent. I mean, one thing, one minute you're standing, next thing you know, you're just on, on, on your on your back or on your stomach, like you slipped on ice or something. <laughs> More times you have to get up. Harder it's going to be. Jingo left little blood coming from the nose. One of those elbows we've got down this way through. Round two. In the blue corner, Chadasak. In the red. The reaction from that second round. Chadasak. Just taking the edge. See him working those elbows throughout that second round. Countering that body kick well, like you said. Catching the body kick. Countering with the punches. Finding a home for that stabbing elbow and those beautiful foot sweeps that we just saw right there. Yeah, dumped him about five or six times that second round. Jin Joe Black has to take a, take the fight to a shot of sock. You see him yeah. now, very aggressive, coming in. Out strong. A shot of sock, finding himself on the canvas for the first time. Jin Joe Black. Back in the clinch position. Yeah. Coming out with more purpose, definitely a lot more aggressive. See him letting his hands go this round. Wonder if Wachirasak's going to go back to that uh, body work that he was doing earlier. Jim Joe Lecto making it, making it work now in the clinch. He's starting to stab those knees in. Trying to 
Sock now. Struggling to get that sweep off. Ginko Lex taking the back as well. I think Ginko Lex figured out uh, what's, what's happening with the sweep, man. Uh, adjusting his base and his timing a little bit. Yeah, top of that with the aggression. Probably knew he was down on points. Florida firing him up. Showing very aggressive in, in the clinch right now. Ginko Lex really pushing the clinch. Machado Sock starting to breathe. Very heavily as well, taking some big shots. Machado Sock's in trouble. Oh, very big left, good hook. left hook. Machado Sock goes down. He's going to get struggling to get back to his yeah. feet. Will Jing Jong Lek be able to finish him off here before the end of the final gotta, bell? Got to imagine Jing Jong Lek coming out with aggression. Very there he aggressive. is again. He, ah, that killer instinct. Machado Sock trying to hold on. Feed those elbows through the guard. Smart forward, try to stop. Getting that clinch until you can get your composure back. Do not stay on the outside. Yeah, Jing Jo Lek probably not going to let him off the hook so easy, though. One thing about the ties, even when they're rock, they are very intelligent. They just muscle memory almost. When they're hurt, they know where to be yeah, to get yourself back. Years and years of experience. And again, getting spun around there in the clinch, taking his back. So I seem to be a little bit wildy, but he seems to be coming back. There he comes, pushing the pace. Hands very low, though. You see him just getting off balance very easily there from the team. Getting pushed back. Yeah, those legs are probably still a little rubbery. Jingjo Lek trying to stalemate him there in the clinch. Jingjo Lek, though, starting to slow down as well. Uh, there he goes, look for that body shot again. If Machado Sock is going to take the fight back, it has to be now. There he is with the teeth. Just to go back to what you were saying at the beginning of the fight, end of round three, sometimes the fighters, they kind of dance around at the stadiums, that final round, they think they won the fight, but you can't do that here. You've got to fight until the final bell. Ah, uh, with three rounds. Of... Yeah, with three rounds, they're... they're... You, you can't afford to uh, let off for a second. I mean, every, every second is crucial in the three-round sort of format. Check out the replay. See that big left hook there from Jingjo Lek that sent him trying to sock down. Just all about who got there first. Jingjo Lek. And, and all fight with the body work that uh, Richard Sock was doing, you know, I, I, I was assuming that he was going to be the one to look to come up top. Go to the judges for a final decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Blue corner, Jing Jo Lek, Raj All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back the shot break. Next fight, Laos take on Thailand. This is Muay Thai Fight Down! Moon Kit, San Suk. His opponent in the red corner, Sakon Lek, Sa Siwa. He's 12 years old, stands at 160 centimeters, has 17 fights, 13 wins, one draw, and three losses. This is his debut fight here at Max. When he trains and fights out of Saw Siwa Jim. Yeah, Lao Star, um, the brother of uh, one of the um, most popular fighters here, Mung Lao. Yeah, Mung Lao. Boy four man fighting on this weekend's co main event against Deck Robert Luke Ang Tanon. Tanon. So be sure to check that out Sunday night. Fight starts at uh, 7.20. Catch it live on Facebook. As you said, Mung Lao, a rising star here at uh, Max. Always puts on a very exciting fight. His brother trying to follow in his footsteps. Got some big shoes to fill, though. One of my stable mates uh, saw his... Uh they're always exciting to have around the camp, keep everything uh, upbeat. Yeah, no, knowing Lao Star so well, what, what would you say is his favorite style? 
Uh, being the brother of Mung Lao, he's going to be aggressive. Uh, forward with the elbows, uh, and, and just a non-stop pressure and determination, like we're seeing now. Yeah, you see him trying to lock down Sakon Lek there in the clinch. It's going to be non-stop pressure. He's going to come forward. Good, good boxing. Uh, Mung Lao has good boxing. You're going to imagine his brother's going to have the same. See him mixing up his shots well. Very attacking good. the body. Sakon Lek though, trying to get that lock around the head. Pull down in the head there. Lao Star. Drive those knees in. Good punch from Lao Star. Then Lao Star peeking in with those body shots. Good. Just hasn't really slowed down yet, Lao Star. And, and really taking the fight to... We will keep this pace the entire fight. Sakon Lek in a lot of trouble now with those body shots. Lao Star loves the body work. See there now, Sakon Lek trying to work those knees in the clinch. But just struggling to create any space. Make room for those knees. Star just not giving him any respect as well. Last star looks like his brother. They, they will walk through a sledgehammer to get their shots off. Again, some big shots from the Lawation fighter. To call neck in there. Trying to cover up there in the shell. Lek is going to have to give his get Lao Star's respect somehow because he is not going to stop coming. Yeah, taking a lot of punishment now in the corner. Lao Star banging away at the body. I don't think he's going much longer. Sakon Lek taking a knee there. Just accumulated shots there, those body shots softening him up. Managed to get back to his feet, but you got to wonder how much longer he's going to last. Lowstar's gonna come right at him, just like he's doing. If he, if, if he senses you're hurt, he's going to come. Just see him getting his sparring over at the gym. So Colin Leck now having to dig really deep. But so Colin Leck is gonna, he's doing smart now. He's gonna have to hit him in the clinch. Wear, 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 him down, wear Lowstar down a little bit. He has to, he has to do something to earn Lowstar's respect. And the round one. Here we see Lao Star, Kai San Suk Jim in the blue corner. Sakon Lek saw Siwa the tie in the red. Check out some of the action from that first round. Lao Star coming out very aggressive. Stayed busy almost the entire round with those hands. So mixing up the shots well. Attacking the head, working those body hooks. Sakon Lek just having some trouble set settling into the fight. And trust me, Lao Star is going to come out exactly the same. Sakon Lek is doing the right thing now. He's got to keep that clinch going. Just trying to slow Lao Star down. Good punch. Yeah, just walked into a stiff jab there from Sakon Lek. Sakon Lek now coming out with more determination. This is the right strategy for Sakon Lek. Stay keep him in the clinch. There you go. Just the pure ferocity of Lao Star. Just nothing that he gets hit with is stopping him. Eventually, that's going to play into the head of Sakon Lek. Oh, it, it, it's very uh, psychologically uh, uh, damaging to your opponent when you just walk through everything. Good. Right hand from Lao Star. So Kong Lex got to got to keep it. He's got to keep it in his clinch. He's got to throw that jab with the right hand like he's doing, and then find, yeah, work the knees. Yeah, you see him landing those knees when he's got the distance between them. But as soon as Lao Star closes it down, he just doesn't have that that range to score. But some big shots now coming in from Sakong Lex. The longer he, the longer Sakong Lex lets it stay on the outside, the more detrimental it's going to be for him. Because Lao Star is vicious from the outside. He throws a lot of combinations that we've seen. So Kong Lek is doing the right thing now. Keep that clinch and that lock. 
and it wears down the puncher. See him starting to work those elbows as well. Long knees from the outside from Tacon Lick. Loud star looking to check the time. Tacon Lick showing that he's still in the fight. Just gotta wonder if we can keep up this pace. Get past the punches of Loud Star. The only thing about the ties is you're, you're not going to break their will with a, a, a bad round. I mean, they, they will uh, recruit and come back strong. Yeah, we've seen some uh, drastic turnarounds here, Max. Last night being one of them. It's a oh, elbow for the elbow now. Beautiful lead elbow to come in. Now I like Sakong Lex's strategy right now. You get up elbow, finds a way in the clinch, and just start to hammer those knees away. And it wears down. What it does to a, 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 an aggressive fighter, it just starts to wear it out. Lactic acid starts to build up in the arm, and the punches start to slow down a little bit with less power. And that's what we're starting to see a little bit. Loud star, you can see, is not throwing those combinations as frequently with as much uh, ferocity as he was earlier. Yeah, looking like he's only getting one or two shots off before Sakon Lek could slow him down there. End of round two. ท่านสามารถรับชมการถ่ายทอดสดเสียงภาษาไทยได้ที่ Max Muay Thai Kid Thai. You can listen to English commentaries on Facebook Max Muay Thai page. As I said before in the last round, it gets tied up in the clinch quite easily. ติดตามชมรายการมวยที่มันที่สุดในโลกถ่ายทอดสดทุกรายการเสียงภาษาไทยบน Facebook Max Muay Thai Kid Thai. Watch our Max Muay Thai programs live in English soundtrack on Facebook Max Muay Thai. ซื้อสินค้าที่ระลึกจาก Max Muay Thai ได้ที่ Max Muay Thai Shop หรือสั่งออนไลน์ได้แล้ววันนี้ทาง Line at Max Muay Thai Shop. Star in the blue corner, getting some final words of encouragement. Brother Moon Lao. Coming to life that second round, start taking the fight. The Lao Star. Trying to close it down in the clinch. Work those knees. Scored with some big elbows as well. Kong Lek definitely employed a, a smarter strategy for that round. Uh, you know, he did the, the right thing. So he took some advice from his cornerman after that first round and uh, came back with, with, a, with a very good strategy of, of clinching and wearing off. Yeah, no point to stay on the outside and taking as many shots as he did that first round, but now, just a ferocious attack. Now we have a fist fight right here. <laughs> Almost looks like a hockey fight broke out. <laughs> Both fighters throwing some heavy gloves. That's what we call the uh, unwritten agreement, uh, where we're both just going to stand in here and swim. <laughs> Got to give the crowd what they came for. Again, Sakon Lek, only, only 12 years old. I think when I was 12 years old, I was chasing tennis balls around the schoolyard. I definitely wasn't doing this. <laughs> Forward, but Sakon Lek looking for those knees in the clinch. So, you can definitely see Sakon Lex is definitely the stronger fighter in the clinch. Uh, Loud Star definitely with his boxing. And both fighters just getting stalemated there in the clinch. Getting turned around now by Loud Star. Struggling to get those knees off. Takes a big left hook. You can definitely see uh, this clinch is taking his toll on Lyle Star. He is not throwing the combination with as much aggression as he was earlier on in the fight. Yeah, Sakon Lek doing a good job of just closing the distance as quick as possible as well. You see, as soon as Lyle Star just throws that left 
left hook or straight right. Chacon Lex just closing him down right away. And if, you, if you've never had a, 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 a strong tie, just put a good lockdown on your neck. I mean, it's very hard to describe what that does and how that zaps your, uh, your energy. One, it puts pressure on your on your spine. Two, just the fact you have to fight it off really takes away your, your punching power and speed because lactic acid starts to build up. And this is uh, the proper strategy for Sukong left to employ right now. I like to see Lao Star just take a deep breath in and, and, and just start to swing because at this point, you definitely got to be down and you just got to go for broke now. He's got to let him go. Could be very close in the scorecards if he's going to take control of the fight. Some big shots coming in now from Lao Star. Just under 10 seconds left in the third and final round here. One thing about Lao Star is you are not going to uh, take his determination away. He's going to keep coming. But you got to wonder, is it a little too, too late? Third and final round. Some of the action from that final round. You see Lao Star banging away with those shots early in the third round. So Kong Lek playing it smart, closing the distance, trying to work those knees from within the clinch. But it has to be very close on the judges' scorecards. One of those elbows uh, cut Lao Star. See how the judges see the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner, Blue Corner, Lao Star, Hai San Suk Jin from Laos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back the shot break. Next fight, another Laotian warrior takes on Thai warrior. This is Muay Thai. Fight He's 16 years old, stands at 160 centimeters, has 29 fights, 24 wins, and 5 losses. This is his first fight here at Max, and he trains and fights out of Kwon Jai C. Coat Gym. His opponent in the red corner, Chamuk Pet Sa Rung Dek. He's originally from Chonburi, Thailand, 16 years old. Stands at 168 centimeters. He has 36 fights, 27 wins, one draw, and eight losses. His last three fights here at Max was a draw against Machanu Saw Klin Mi. A second round TKO win over Yod Pet Sit J Miao. And his last fight, a second round KO loss against Pan Yop or Pity Sack. He trains and fights out of Sit Yotong, where he's trained by Yong Mong Kong. And managed by San Chai and Toy Sit your tongue. So again, both fighters, even in experience, it's not going to be very often that you see uh, a mismatch here at Max. Promoters do a, a good job of keeping the fights. Fairly balanced and even. That, that's one of the things that I, I, lo I love about Max and, and is the fact that the fights are so evenly matched. Yeah, as we've seen in the last fight with Chacon Lake and Last Star, it's just a back and forth war. Both fighters so evenly matched, it made for a great and exciting fight. That's a hard fight to follow up. Sound with the beautiful uh, sort of cut pitch, shoot that other leg out. Again, attacking that lead leg there. You see, Triple Pet just standing very tall, keeping the hips forward, the head back when they get in a the clinch. It's going to make it very difficult for Kyle San to pull down in that head. Yeah. 
Sherman Fett, being as tall as he is, he has a very good advantage in, in terms of the punch, being able to put a lot of leverage on Cal Sands, uh neck. See him using that footwork well as well. Stepping out to the side, throwing those shots. Just has to be careful. He doesn't go back too much. Good sweep from Cal Sands. Uh, controlling the ring, looking very patient, picking his shots. But again, Tamupek using that reach, scoring with that straight overhand right. Don't forget, if you're enjoying, enjoying tonight's show, you can catch all the live streams of Max on the Facebook page. Max Muay Thai. Monday and Tuesdays, we have the Muay Thai Fighter. Wednesdays and Thursdays, the Global Fight Champion Challenge. Friday, we have the Battle Show. Saturday, the Champion Muay Thai. And Sunday, Max Muay Thai Ultimate. This weekend, our main event, Juan Mario, Juan Martin versus Tanakorn, Alin Charon Lert. Be sure to tune in for that one. 7.20 start time. Don't forget to like and share. Right now, Trump, Trump effect just seems to be laying back just a little bit too much. Just seems a little too uh, lackadaisical. Almost just uh, just looked to be looking to be a counterpart. A good sweep from Carlson. Yeah, but as you said earlier, being a counterfighter, it's not always going to work in your favor here. You got to be aggressive as well. Yeah, because quite often you don't have enough time to really feel out your opponent as you would like to tie in the red. Some of the action from that first round. Calson trying to sweep out that leg. That cut kick. Working those knees in the clinch. Peck using his reach on the outside, scored with some powerful straight rights. I like to see him do a little trouble pack, do a little more inside of the clinch. You know, really, you know, he has definitely has that that body for a good clinch style. I like to see him really start to hammer the knees in. It's almost as if he's just looking to just hold, maintain a position in there. See if he comes out with a different game plan. Second round. You see, good knee from him. Now he's starting to be a little more active. Yeah, you see him pulling down in the head, bring his hips back to make the space, driving those knees in. Still marching forward. Just getting slipped up there on that push kick of Triple Pet. Again, Cal seems to be the stronger in the clinch. Yeah, just makes it look so easy there. Turning him around. Off balance of him. Chumbo Peck has to be a little bit more aggressive, I would think, you know, with, with, with this max format. I mean, he's kind of just looking at this, I mean, beautiful technique, but he's just kind of waiting just a little bit too long. Yeah, you see, once the fight goes to the outside, he, like you say, he just sits back. He's letting Kao San bring the fight to him. Even in the clinch, you know, you can see Kao San's getting two, three knees in. Chumbo Peck will just throw one. Corner urging for him to throw those knees in the clinch. Starting to push the fold, push the pace now. Now he's becoming a little more aggressive. And his knees are so effective. You would wonder why he wouldn't be using them any more than he is. Absolutely, yeah. When he throws them, they, they're landing with, 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 with power. I mean, you can see Kyle Sands left side of his body is, is, uh, is red from those knees. Again, good job of scoring with those knees, tying up that leg. But again, just hanging back a bit too much. Just when you think he can take control of the fight, kind of lets it slip through his hands. He's getting swept out there from Kalsan. When, Cal when Chama Pet does employ one of his techniques, I mean, they, it work, they work. You can see him right there with uh, a jab cross. Now he's coming into the punch again. And we can see. You see Kalsan throw one or two knees, Chama Pet throws one. Definitely should be a little more aggressive. Yeah, not 
Hunter doing many favors on the scorecards. Now saying, racking up the points there in the clinch. Again, now both fighters just hanging back a bit too much. Referee urging for him to push forward. Now saying, now scoring with the body kicks. You kind of got to wonder here if the referee's going to stop for a minute and tell them they need to start going. Yeah, it looks like Triple Pen is trying to play the stadium game. Go tit for tat to clinch and then hang back on the outside. End of round two. The referee go to both of them in the corner and kind of uh, urge him like to, to push the action. Don't have so much of a low. One more round left. Here we go third and final round. Now we have a little more sense of urgency from both fighters here. Okay. Start to use those knees from the outside, but again on the back foot getting pushed back. Kyle Sand taking the fight to him. Body kicks from Kyle Sand. Timing that push kick well. Catching Chopet off balance. Chopet's doing a great job of utilizing that teeth to the thigh. Just like to see him uh, uh, throw something else behind him. Great technique to stop your opponent's forward aggression. It's even better when you can put something behind him. And as the fight goes on, and Kyle Sand knows he's not going to do anything, just make it that much easier for him to come in. Over confidence, doubling, doubling up on his kicks there. And really hanging back now to the pet. You definitely see Chummy Cut is definitely a counter fighter, which is not going to do him too many favors in Max unless he's going to start putting a lot of guys away. And the referee is going to give him both a warning. Trying to keep the action going here. Triple Pet now starting to let the hands go. One thing about Max, you do not do yourself any favors moving backwards. <laughs> not at all. Like to see forward aggression. Moving backwards is probably the best way to uh, get yourself not invited back. Starting to come to life. Um, Stabbing knees from the knee. outside. Good knee and another good knee from them. It's a bit of a late start here for the tie. See Kyle Sand throwing that shit across the thighs there. Kumu Pet. Good right hand. Good right hand from Thomas Pet while he had the leg. And both fighters hanging back. Either of them really want to score the big points, I gotta let them go. You gotta start getting aggressive. End of the third and final round. Very aggressive. Triple Pet had his moments. Scored with some big shots, long leads from the outside, but you have to wonder if it was enough to win over the judges. We'll find out in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Four the All right.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after the short break. Next fight out, main event tonight. This is Muay Thai. Fight the battle. The 63 kilo di kilogram division. Introducing first in the blue corner, Denwari Sitje Om. He's originally from Lampang. He's 16 years old, stands at 173 centimeters, has 25 fights, 18 wins, and 7 losses. His debut fight here at Max. His opponent in the red corner, Palangdek Petamnak. He's 16 years old, has 26 fights, 17 wins, and 9 losses. This is also his debut fight here at Max, and he trains and fights at a Pet Tom Knock gym. So our fifth and final fight of what has been another exciting card here at Max. I did have my information uh, incorrect earlier on. The fifth and final fight, not a title fight. The champion challenge. Our Wednesday and Thursday show. So no belts on the line here at the Muay Thai Fighter Show tonight. Denwari, the slight height advantage. Just wait for both fighters to have the Mong Kongs removed. Get a final prayer from their cornermen. Here we go, first round. Fighters in the orthodox stance. Very quickly to uh, engage in the clinch. Good work from both fighters uh, with this knee work. They're yeah, not wasting any time. Going knee for knee. Again, both fighters back into the clinch. You see Palandek attacking the thighs there of Denwari. Great tactic right there. Sometimes you just start to wear out. You figure everyone has to stand on their legs. You start to wear out those legs. They start to slow down when you disengage. And as you said earlier about that push kick to the to the thigh, it's, it's also an, another technique you don't see that much outside of Thailand is digging the, digging the thighs with the knees. No, not at all. People have a tendency to want to, you know, get them up to the ribs. And, you know, you have to remember, every time you look, the higher you lift them, the more energy you, you expend. You start to just start pick, pecking away at that thigh. You're not spending a lot of energy, but you, you know you're getting a lot of damage done to your opponent. So high guard there from Denbadi as he marches forward, but takes a big knee on the way in. And the leg kick. Colin Deck has to be very careful coming in with his hands. Very low, leaving himself wide open. One of those big head kicks there from Denwari. Hollandek again working. Has a good lock. Denwari. So both fighters making their debut here at Max. As someone who's fought on the Max stage before, how much of the fight, like how, how, much, how much of the nerves of being here for the first time play into the actual fight? Huge, huge amount of uh, going in there. Uh, one thing I was very lucky to have is, you know, uh, so many of my uh, of the guys in my stable have been here before, uh, like Luke Barr, Mung Lao, Sam Pe Oh! Colin Deck found it home for that leg kick. As we, as we were saying earlier, you know, he was starting to plug away at that knee, at knees to the thighs, and that's why you do that. When you can disengage, you can start to use it to set up those low kicks. Yeah, you got to wonder how much longer it's going to last. And Ruddy having some trouble putting the weight down on that left leg. 
Now here's the problem that then while he engages in the clinch, it can still be bad for him because he can just go right back to getting kneed in the thigh now as opposed to being kicked in there. Takes another big shot. Referee's going to call off the fight, and that's it. Palandek scoring the TKO win. Low kicks. As you say, you pop that tire. Bicycle has two tires. You pop one of those tires, it doesn't ride as well. Palandek earning himself his first victory here. Max, see that again on the replay. As soon as he got him trapped in that corner, he just started peppering away at that leg. It was only a matter of time. That first knockdown. Got to give him credit. Then Roddy came out to fight after he got back up, but one or two more shots. His leg was not agreeing with him. Yeah, once weakness has been shown, and it, it, it's very hard to really uh, get that leg to start working again properly. We'll go to the judges now for the official decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by way of technical knockout, Red Connor, London, head down knock. เอาละครับทุกผู้ชมครับขอบคุณนะครับที่ติดตามรายการบวยไทยฟายเตอร์และอย่าลืมครับเรามีการถ่ายทอดสดทาง Facebook Live ทาง YouTube Channel ของ Max มวยไทยทาง Max มวยไทยโมบายแอปบน iOS และ Android และก็เว็บไซต์ Max มวยไทย .com 7วัน7รายการด้วยกันครับเริ่มแต่1ทุ่มนะครับวันจันทร์ถึงวันศุกร์และก็วันเสาร์และวันอาทิตย์ใน1ทุ่ม20เป็นต้นไปครับเพราะฉะนั้นอย่าลืมมาติดตามชมกันเลยครับสำหรับวันนี้ผมเบียร์แม็กซ์มวยไทยขอตัวลาไปก่อนสวัสดีครับ